only city that has a lower tax burden than us in this category is Sudbury. Senior executive um, homes as well, this is a new one I'm showing this year. Um, we fare very well um, with respect to our comparators. Neighborhood shopping, we're in the middle of the, of the pack here. Same with office and same with industry as well. So moving on to the last part of my presentation, economic opportunity. This fall, the, the financial crisis in the United States um, had us all, everyone, suddenly talking um, about the economy, not only in Guelph but around the world. So how does a municipality uh, help to maintain and enhance our financial and econ economic position? Well, first, it's about ensuring excellence in the delivery of services and municipal governance, which I spent the first part of my presentation talking about. Second, I believe it's by working with the community and other levels of government to strengthen the resiliency of our local economy. Last year, I introduced the topic of the Guelph Innovation District, and this is the former Correctional Institute lands, which are primarily owned by the province. It's rare for a city to have a thousand acres of this, of, this, of this type of land within the built up boundary of the city, um, vacant and, and, and open for opportunities for, for development. A lot of work over the last year has gone into understanding, better understanding the constraints and assets um, provided by this site. However, we still do not have an implementation plan, a critical path to get us to where we want to go. And this has frustrated and puzzled a few of us, many of us, over the last couple of months is why we aren't moving forward faster. We are coming to understand why, um, and we, are, we do now have a path forward. I think there's a very good reason um, why innovation is in this, in this t title of this particular development opportunity. Because everything about this initiative requires innovation, a new way of doing business. We have the partnership with the province, um, a partnership which is new to us, new to them, um, and we'll need a new model to facilitate collaborative decision making. We know we need a flexible, performance-based approach to planning on the site, but that's new to us as well in this city. We have to think differently about infrastructure on this site. How do we build the eco-industrial park of the future that promotes the concept of symbiotic industries, where the waste of one industry feeds the business of another industry? Growing the economy through the creation of green jobs will require new partnerships between government, government research institutions and the private sectors. The foundations are there because of the work of many of the people in this room. In my opinion, the problem is that we've been relying on old ways of thinking, old models, old processes to address what is really something that has to be very innovative. So here's my visual. Here we all are. There's so many stakeholders that need to have a say on how this moves forward. And so really what we're looking for in this process is a conductor. And no, that wasn't the conductor I was thinking of. I was looking at conductors online. And I don't know, the monkey's maybe getting a little bit closer for us. But really, it's, it's, not, it's not about a person. It's, it's about new ways of thinking and new ways of organizing ourselves and new ways of working together. And so we will be moving forward in the next few weeks in articulating that process that we can break through the little bit of barrier that we've had on this site and get to that new way. But that's not going to be enough because we also need the music score. So we need the vision and we need the principles that will drive the priorities for this site. Um, we are close to that, but we still haven't achieved full alignment with all of these people as to which pace, piece of music that we're going to be playing. So there'll be more to come on this. I believe we've had a, finally a collective epiphany on this particular property. A new economic strategy. Um, in collaboration with the Chamber of Commerce and community leaders, our Economic Development Division will be recommending to City Council that we develop a new economic development strategy, Prosperity Guelph 2020. The last strategy was developed during the 90s and uh, obviously things have changed from then. 
To assist in this initiative, I will be assembling a Mayor's Task Force on the economy and will be asking a few key business leaders to come together to provide upfront advice on what the, the key issues that this strategic plan must address. Then at the end of the process, as everybody goes away and does all of that work, I will ask them to come back and look at that plan and, and assess whether we hit the mark for it. We need a community-based strategy that leverages the substantial assets in our community. This can't just be a city hall process. We also need to look beyond our borders in a way that we've never done before, I think. Many of our industries and businesses compete in a global economy, and more will do so. And regional economies are not immune to global uh, changes and global economic forces. I think Guelph is well positioned nationally to prosper. We have many strengths, and our strategy will help to capitalize on those strengths so that we can continue to create jobs into the future. And then my last slide um, is about building local resiliency. And we are going to explore that concept more comprehensively with our business and community leaders at the Guelph Sustainable Solutions Workshop in the new year. This is about how sustainability, how corporate social responsibility can work to attract and retain key talent can increase productivity, can reduce manufacturing expenses, reduce expenses at commercial sites, reduce revenue and market share, it, sorry, increase revenue and market share, <laughs> and reduce risk. Um, I would like to thank the cooperators, Guelph Hydro, McNeil Consumer Healthcare, Meridian Credit Union, the University of Guelph, and Linamar for partnering with the City of Guelph in this important workshop. Um, there's great excitement about the opportunities of this for our community on a long-going basis. So in conclu conclusion, a, a visual to bring you back to the placemat. Um, it's been a tremendous first two years of the term. I want to thank all members of council, the senior management team, and the employees of the City of Guelph. They are committed to the principles that inform our priorities, and they are committed to achieving those priorities to ensure progress for our community. And while I'm the one that has the privilege of delivering the State of the City Address, I know that the success is certainly not about me. It's not even just about City Hall. It's about the community, all the citizens and businesses that call Guelph home. I've been humbled over the last two years by the willingness of this community to work together and the confidence in that this community has that if we do work together, we can make a difference. So thank you for, very much for your attention and this opportunity. And I don't know whether there's time for questions, but I'd be happy to answer questions. Thanks.